handler. Now with the uh, object worksheet and with and we're gonna do now we're gonna select uh, range A1 so select that and then the cells dot select now we're selecting the entire uh, worksheet and dot cells dot uh, format conditions dot add and then the type and the type in this particular case is going to be Excel um, expression and now we have to add uh, the formula so let's just break this line here to make the reading easier formula uh, one and now you can type in your formula and in this particular case it would be uh, role a1 equal active role now what, what you could do here also um, and what might happen is that you want to be able to change uh, this formula so let's copy this formula and then what you can do actually is this you can create a constant uh, let's call it uh, m string constant and let's call it uh, cf uh, formula and I'll show you in a minute why well notice that here I'm using uh, the name in English in this particular case it is role but if you're using uh, in a different language um, this wouldn't work because you need to put you know the proper uh, function name in your own language so in this particular case uh, I'm just changing here the string so what I can do I can simply uh, uh, paste uh, because then all you have to do is just go to this constant and change it here because obviously if you're repeating this this uh, formula in different places in your code it might be sort of very difficult for you to go around trying to figure out you know uh, where the formulas are and then obviously that can sort of uh, add some maintenance cost you know to uh, to your code later so continuing here uh, the next thing we're gonna do so uh, with our object um, work worksheet dot cells dot format conditions uh, one dot interior and 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 with and now we're gonna add the uh, pattern uh, color index you have just to make sure you're using uh, the correct stuff for your own version of Excel so that's gonna be automatic Excel automatic and then the uh, theme color that's going to be equal to Excel uh, theme color dark dark one and finally uh, tint and shade and you can simply add whatever you like so I, I just printed a number here you know from the one I had added and that's going to be uh, 14.99679 five 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 six five zero five but anyway you can you can choose whatever you want and if you're not really sure you can always record just as I did because you know uh, I didn't know what the tint shade uh, code was you know for the color I had chosen originally so I just went there recorded it and picked up the number um, now you can click uh, type here exit sub and obviously we have the uh, error handler up here and then you can simply copy this and you can paste uh, down here and then you can add you know uh, your little instruction here so we could say put a message box and then we could uh, for the, the prompt we could add the error description and we can say it's a uh, VB information and that's basically it uh, hopefully I haven't made any mistake in typing the code here so let's close uh, this window uh, we already have here the instructions so everything is working fine for sheet one and then as we go to a sheet two uh, that was uh, the problem here but we can check under conditional formatting uh, manage rules uh, role edit yeah it's actually our formula here is showing us row 81 active role and as you can see th th there is the um, quotation marks around it and that's basically why it didn't work so we have to go back there to uh, our code and actually change this so we can click OK we can click apply and then now this thing you know should be working uh, without a problem okay so let's go back now to uh, our code let's go back to developer uh, visual basic um, you can see up here in my um, 
a string for the formula, I actually forgot to put the uh, equal sign up here. And this is the reason why, you know, we are having that uh, problem. So you can close here and now we can go to uh, sheet three. And as you can see now, uh, things are working. Obviously in the first case here, I already had a different color, uh, but for the other ones, you know, it'll be fine. And then say, for example, you add uh, a new uh, worksheet. So let's, let's suppose here you right click and then you add your worksheet as you can see you know the condition formatting is added and then you know um, the line is going to be sort of highlighted you know without a problem and you know as I had shown in the previous video um, the active uh, role is the one which is uh, actually highlighted not you know the topmost uh, role so I hope you have enjoyed uh, this particular case study if you have any queries you can always post here as well as post uh, your own comments as well until next time my name is robert